Today we are going to take a look at the AKK F4 SD flight controller. This board is essentially an Omnibus F4 SD and you can install the same firmware on it. It works seamlessly with beta flight. What makes this my favorite flight controller? Well, it has one of my favorite features. The integrated OSD that works out of the box. With the OSD I can display all the information I need during the flight, like battery voltage, artificial horizon, the current being consumed because it has an integrated galvanometer that measures the current draw from the whole system, and it's also possible to enter in the menu to modify settings like the PID tuning and so on. That last one is super handy. It also includes a barometer, a BMP280, in case you want to use it, its processor, an STM32F405 RGT6, can allow us to run the PID loop up to 8kHz without increasing the CPU load. This board can be used with PPM and SBUS protocols, and weights 7.5 grams. It has the standard size of 36 by 36 mm and a PCB thickness of 1.2 mm. Now, the best part of all of this is that AKK has the best price on the market for a flight controller with all its characteristics. For less than 18 euros or 20 dollars, you get the proper flight controller that has all the features you need to build a serious racer drone. Now, let's see how it comes when you purchase one. I got this one in an anti static bag and well protected with some soft wrapping. It comes with nylon standoffs for mounting into the frame. It also includes straight and 90 degree angle pin headers for connecting our ESCs. You can also connect the ESC through a mini JST connector for a more tidy and lighter connection. And finally, a female to female JST connector cable for connecting our receiver through SPOS or PPM. Let's talk about the SD card that you can put in the flight controller to record a large number of files from the black box. That's what it is for. It is actually not a big deal for me because these files are actually small and I don't use the black box that much, but it's a nice feature to have if you are into it, especially if you record files that are at the same speed of the PID loop. Integrated memory chips run out very quickly, but if you record at this rate, it's to be used for a later detailed analysis of the flight, where you need a very precise reading of the data, probably to debug your PID settings and other interesting data about your accelerometer and gyro. It's time to put this in a frame to test it. There are different ways you can wire the flight controller according to your needs. I found these instructions on the AKK website, so in case you have any doubts, you can visit that and download these instructions. I have just mentioned all the most important details about this flight controller, but it can still handle other features like LED strips, 3 UR ports, and many other basic features that you will expect from a flight controller. Now, let's see how it flies.
Now the final question is, would I recommend this flight controller to someone who is starting in the hobby or someone who already flies drones? Well, I would totally recommend it to anyone who wants to fly drones in any level because of its ridiculous low price and also because all its features that can allow you to do a very serious racer drone. Of course you will find in the market a wide range of flight controllers with different features and even with more quality but that comes with a price so considering that this is the lowest price I've seen in the internet looking for a flight controller like this this is a very top-notch flight controller that you would like to have. I hope you liked this video and if you do please leave a like and also consider subscribing. I'll see you in the next project.